Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're playing a long War of the Chosen. It is Operation Spider Shadow, our first rendezvous where we're intercepting a spy and uh, so far it's Russ as the uh, sharpshooter as well as a couple of rookies um, or Haven, Haven resistance personnel. That is hopefully going to uh, help uh, making this rendezvous a success. Problem with face responses, those buggers have a lot of hit points and can be problematic. So join me when we're going to do this mission. Let's go. So we need to find that rendezvous point. Once we found it. We need to slaughter the aliens. Got a shotgun. Got a couple of assault rifles. Got Russ here. Position confirmed. Steadying his weapon. Already there. And got a SMG who could be our scout. Moving up, nothing. Moving up further, still nothing. But she has a lot of hit points. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Is she a faceless one? Everybody else has like four hit points. But you are, you are rocking ten hit points. Is what you're telling me? Grenades pierce up to two points of armor. Dodge pierces three armor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Confirmed. That is sus. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Rolling out. Got it. Moving. Super suspicious. That would be the the absolute XCOM moment of this campaign. I'm moving in with uh, the tank, and then the tank, in all reality, is the actual double agent. <laughs> Shotgun moves up. Got it covered. Copy that. Yeah, I don't know what how I would react. Potentially Potentially it would be GG because a faceless one can eat through them. They are regenerating and if you don't uh, hit them when they're far far enough away, then that's a problem. Okay, we got a shotty here. They're saying shotgun to the face. Running. I'm all over it. You guys are flanking. And we're steadying our weapon for next turn. Good. Let's throw this grenade and start engaging. Destroyed two times loot. Okay, that's not great. 
Can I keep the corpses on the rendezvous mission? I should have looked that up. One sec. The answer is no. You can only do that in liberation missions. Russ. Hits, but does did, did not kill him. Well, now we do have a problem, a petite, tiny, tiny problemino. We've got our vent here. But we do have flashbangs, so might not be that much of a problem. Fifty-fifty. Here I call. We've heard rumors about some kind of shapeshifters. I'm guessing this is it. It is a remarkable species. If only we had some means of containment. Don't even think about it. Let's uh, kill. And we're staying in cover. Out. Let's get the sector down. Potentially loot destroyed. Yeah. Figured as much. Did not uh, receive a single item of loot so far. But now we need to deal with the faceless one. I'm going. Our tank for the lack of a better word moves forward. Let's get that sentry. Once a little bit further to the back. Of course, minimum damage. Sure. How many is that now? I've got a piece. My ammo's running low. Do your reanimation thing? No, you are not. I guess that'll be okay. But that won't kill him, but it might remove the cover. Let's 
six points of damage which means our sniper Russ could be able to kill it there we go and we got two pieces of loot I bet you one of our soldiers was a faceless one and that would that would be the absolute hilarious thing Wait, what? All of you guys are rookies? Uh, scope, great. Advanced laser sight, great. Faces corpse, great. And we got, we got the corpses. So I was a stupido for exploding the other corpses. We lost three corpses. And does that mean we do have new rookies? No. Can we get those? No, because they are Haven personal psych, and of course you can't get them, duh. Cool. Alien debris finally cleared. Now, down here, we could go for the training uh, facility, which would cost how much? Um, training center, do not have enough power yet, but in three days we do have enough power, which is, by the way, also why we can't build anything here. Don't have enough power yet. Gremlin. Gremlin. Okay, emptying one, still two gremlins, good. We can reshift afterwards. That's really good. This coil could provide us with some additional power for the Avenger systems, but we'll need to add some shielding first to protect the crew. Hmm, good. So, Psylab is still what I'm looking for and hopefully the upgrade will not break the bank for us Commander, we just got word that the resistance hit an advent supply line mm. mm. ready the advent convoy assuming we can clear out the alien forces guarding the site first well that could be one of those missions uh, where we could consider going in under infiltrated Who's available for that mission? Commander, we currently have no new supplies coming in. We'll need to seek out new means of replenishing our resources. So we got a sharpshooter. Technician. Gunner specialist. The Templars seek to take from the elders. Assault. Grenadier. Skirmisher. We would have enough to definitely uh, go for it. If the Templar followers would pursue their goal to the Elder's ruin, then we have no objections to this. The question is how under infiltrated can we do that mission? That'll be a tough one. On the other hand, we would get a lot of corpses. Let me see. Let me see. So, I read through a couple of the changes and Long War uh, really does not uh, mm, uh, want you to do the under-infiltrated missions. They were a thing in uh, the Long War 2 and uh, 
uh, in Long War of the Chosen Beta, where essentially it's just the number of enemies uh, that that increase. But now, legendary, there are a couple of things um, on under infiltrated raids. Number one. Uh, the chance for reaction shots goes up for every percent that you are below a hundred percent. So that means uh, that would be a hundred percent reaction from every triggered pot. So they always get uh, an action. Pot size increases massively, and uh, force um, force rating slightly increases. So this will also have a command pot that is even of higher force rating um, on top of it. And then they gave them bigger uh, detection ready as well as uh, a bigger radio, um, uh, a stronger end boss pack, um, which really is difficult. I mean, if, if we were to go in with eight people, like I just um, suggested, we would be ending up with close to 60 enemies. I'm not sure. I would like to show that to you guys, but I'm not sure if this would throw the run. So we have a lot of firepower with eight people. It's not a timed mission, isn't it? We're not starting concealed. We get full salvage. We can either with a flare. And the problem is they also do have better stats. They get aim and defense bonuses. So I'm wondering if this is just essentially good game we're going in. The evac will take seven turns, so everybody would be stuck there and I would need to fight it out for a few turns. I don't know. Maybe I would want to try a 50% one, but not a 16% one. I think we'll let this one go as tough as it is now operational. our supplies we can uh, get that let's upgrade the psylab <sighs> that would have been a lot of corpses I'll just keep two Larian corpses good enough for now. We need one for the upgrade, which is exactly enough to get our power system to the absolute uh, highest level. Unfortunately, uh, this does not require any form of gremlin, so power relay is fine. I need something else that, uh, that uh, we can staff gremlins in. Resistance comms potentially would go down to here, so that way we do have not wasted the workshop. Which then means... Once the power relay is done, getting uh, the infirmary here and then the um, training slab down here. Good. How long does the training take? Okay, only two days. That's easy. Damn it. 
I wanted to do this mission. Setting course for Indonesia. Good, got the first mission. Mission expiration in zero days, zero hours. Yeah. That's funny. I think we have enough people here. Uh, Paul is wounded for seven days. The others are almost done being wounded. So what I would want to do is, this is uh, soon liberated. This, let's continue here, that's fine. I would definitely like to scan potentially down here so that we can get a couple more missions. Setting course for sector two. Australia. Because the two missions that we've just gotten are unfortunately way too late. Now. Nah. Two days, 20 hours. Uh, might be one of uh, those missions, so. Might be one of those missions where we are... Oh, I see the dark event is not always active, it is just a side trip. Okay, never mind then. Scientists could be helpful. Let's see if we can uh, deploy a team and then with a boost do that. Base wolves are fine. Could do that. Tired. And I think space wolves are fine. Let's just use those at the moment. Could get up to 89%. That would still be a tough mission, but we could get a scientist and the intel would pay for itself. Just double checking something. That would increase the timing massively. Let me, uh, let me figure something out real quick. Okay, with a boost, we would be getting only 13 to 15, which is fine, we can do that. In position for deployment. But really the biggest problem here is we have noticed that mission way too late. So how about we're just scanning here, because it seems that uh, New Indonesia currently is not really having a lot of action, but here there is definitely a bit more. Depending on who you ask, psionics could be considered the alien's greatest strength. Now our own side. 
Fantastic. Divert. You got it, my, my man. I think it's a time this uh, this time to lose the helmet. So no helmet and since you are an avatar this time you get uh, the full avatar look okay diva there you go hope you like it um none of that and i think you will definitely need to uh, go on to missions and start leveling up because there is no uh, more training in the background like they used to be cool very cool soul fire lots of soldiers abilities Mind mer uh, merge, insanity. I am looking forward to use some of them. And I'm wondering if um, we get a couple more rookies, if I should. Train one more of them into a Psy soldier. Good. We'll figure it out when once we get new soldiers. Currently, no recruits available. We anyways need a lot of shinobi, so shouldn't get ahead of ourselves. Good, they cannot train any further. That's unfortunate. So they definitely need to go on to missions. Toxic looks absolutely fabulous with his white rats. 80 Psy power, whoa. That's good. Put a drone in here and we got enough power. Now, resistance communications 150. Infirmary also 150. We don't have the supplies yet. This here would give us 80. Let's sacrifice a little bit of time. I want uh, that quicker. We're getting enough uh, income then to hopefully uh, build the um, infirmary and the training center. Finally, new missions end these this time. Uh, this time, enough to actually. Force for sector 16 
to actually fully infiltrate. Good. <clears throat> we filled that up. Uh, got toxic on his first mission. And I think the Ultramarines just got a couple new recruits here. Signed soldiers. Um, toxic and skirmisher. There you go. Good. That's an easy mission. So putting a couple of rookies in here should be fine. We're in the pipe. Five by five. Seven days. Great. Resistance personnel. Resistance personnel. A resistance personnel. Rookie. And resistance personnel. Well, we got one rookie there. That is good. I like that. Setting that could be directly our next mission. Zone. The free the captured rebels stops at a certain vigilance rating. So it's good to take them whilst vigilance is low. Good. Easy. Blood Angels are ready and they are taking Divot with them. Uh, the other uh, initi initiate here. Let's, by the way, two of them are on covered action and one is tired. So, yeah, maybe we're just leaving the Psy operatives out of uh, the orders. They are just psychers that help wherever uh, they are needed. Good, let's move on to that infiltration. I definitely want to get the five. Uh, the five, because that would fill up our haven nicely. We would go almost up to ten people. And we finally got the last one on Intel here. So got a nice eight four split. Ah, we could even get plus one. Still have time for one more mission. I think you will find our results have exceeded expectations. Despite Good proving grounds can be built. I have yet to discover what, if any, advantage the advent hybrid soldiers' enormous eyes. Proving ground, proving ground, lots of proving grounds. No doubt prove difficult. Let's go with the uh, with the officer. Combat armor comes soon. To be similar. Although I had realistic expectations as to the limit. Nice. What are we dealing with? Reduce enemy strength. Hmm. The three days, five hours is. With that baseline activity, too little. It's a great mission, but it's just too little. Uh, we're boosting infiltration here. Yes. And that gets us exactly to 92%. And that's where we're going to continue the next time when we're trying to rescue that VIP. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, that was an interesting ride. A lot of management on the uh, on the strategy layer and not much tactical movement. But I promise you that'll change over time. When we get more supplies, I want to finally build the training facility as well as the Infirmary that should give us more uptime. Infirmary first, trainings facility second, then um, 
resistance communication here and then we got most of the important stuff covered i think we have a healthy amount of engineers and scientists now that we are rescuing another scientist we're at five so that is good that's actually very good we're getting uh, quite a bit of uh, supplies in so this here looks fine I would say from a research perspective we could still speed up a bit more uh, if I look at the research that is needed once we have more supplies I would like to go for combat armor we have definitely enough alloys for that and yeah yet again we need money so the liberation is overdue once the liberation is coming through i can go for uh, for funds and that would be so so helpful then uh, the respective neighboring areas will be the giver for all of our uh, missions in terms of rookies we'll get one more soon our roster is growing so that's on the positive side we could get a couple more shinobis i definitely would want to do psi training uh, for the others i like the fact that you can train uh, psionic characters faster so they essentially become a real class that you can play and that you need to play through so um, as we're getting a couple more psi ops uh, that that would be helpful uh, i would assume just from seeing what they uh, what they do have uh, with nullens and uh, with uh, dominate that they're and with stasis that they are ever so strong seeing what hogbite can do with his limited psionic abilities if uh, if that is any indication of how good the psionic uh, the psi operatives are you're in for a treat so definitely want them for crowd control and other than that, uh, very soon we're going to do the network tower. So that'll be interesting to see as well. Uh, stay tuned. There is a lot more coming and uh, see you in the next episode. Bye bye.